Moldova is voting for the crucial presidential runoff that will play a key role in the country's European future amid Russian interference. The second round of polls comes amid meddling allegations pro-Western incumbent Maya Sandu is racing against Russian-friendly former Prosecutor General Alexander. Moldovan President Maya Sandu casted her vote in Chisino. She urged voters to guard their independence. Niciodată trebuie să fim uniți, să ne păstrăm pacea, să ne păzim votul, să ne păzim independența. Hoții vor să ne cumpere votul, hoții vor să ne cumpere țara, dar puterea oamenilor este infinit mai mare decât orice mușeveie, mușevenie a lor. Minual Alexandra Stoia Nolo. Maya Sandu's opponent expressed his vision for Moldovans while casting his ballot in the first round of voting that held, or that was held on October 20th. Stoyanolo garnered around 26 percent. Месяц своей семьей проголосовал сегодня за свободную, стабильную, процветающую Молдову, Молдове, которая уважает своих граждан. Независимо от э, языка, от национальности, от возраста, от религии, от политических взглядов. Молдова, которая не будет стоять с вытянутой рукой, а будет развиваться, исходя из хороших отношений и с Западом, и с Востоком. While Sandu received about 42.5% of the votes, but did not achieve an outright majority, since neither candidate surpassed the required threshold of 50% plus one vote, a second round was necessary. However, analysts are forecasting a close battle as Toy Nalo has since garnered the support of other defeated candidates. On the same day as the first round, Moldova also held a referendum regarding its aspiration for EU membership. It passed narrowly with 50.35% of votes. However, this vote has been marred by allegations of foreign interference and vote buying schemes allegedly orchestrated by Ireland Shore an exiled oligarch residing in Russia. Authorities claim that Shor's network may have influenced up to 300,000 voters. Это демократия, это в первую очередь мир, это в первую очередь поддержка той борьбы, которую сейчас ведёт Украина за своё существование. Ну, как бы, я думаю, всё понятно. According to reports, voter turnout is expected to be significant as many Moldovans living abroad tend to favor EU integration. The results of this runoff will not only determine the presidency but also set the stage for upcoming parliamentary elections next summer. We are thinking about who of these candidates will have less chance to happen the same as happens in Ukraine. Who... Uh, сможет uh, 